Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the LZ Alpha. Yes, the first landing zone. We've been going for nearly 330 days, uh, taking these 10 duplicates into the future. Well, are we going to be able to give them comfort? I am not overly sure, but we will try our best. Last time we went around and tried to figure out a few of the issues that we had, we managed to clear the petroleum out of the oil reservoir over here, and we were trying to do the same to the water over the top of the polluted water over here. We made uh, the, the the find of the episode was this smart battery setup using the automation in front of us to be able to control the power output from this so we can keep the power in this battery very high to keep all of this, in particular this gas pump, turning over. And then we decided to come down here and start trying to make another one because we've got another natural gas geyser back in there. But the main thing that this is actually set up for is to be receiving the natural gas that comes from the oil wells down here but we need the power before we can get on with the oil wells and the main plan with the oil wells is of course to turn all of this down here via the power of the magma into petroleum and then maybe have some petroleum generators over here I think that would be great we'll collect all of the oil together drop it down in a big shaft and uh, maybe we'll find a volcano down here that would be a very sustainable way of dealing with that but until then we will just use the magma but these are all probably plans for the very far future the duplicants are just starting to wake up and come out via the method of these atmosphere suits over here hopefully they're all going to go down and start working on the gas generator as these are the things that should helpfully hopefully hopefully and helpfully uh, help us get some more power running uh, the power is definitely a uh, drastic situation at the moment if we can find a power line to click on here uh, you can see from the energy that that wow zero production zero production that'll be because this bit over here has done a thing also look at the frame rate when I hold up something that's on like not on the screen if I do it here no problem but if I had the wire off on the other side of the screen didn't seem to work very well so that's being produced there you can see we've got three uh, three kilowatts being produced 3.4 being consumed ah we definitely are at the uh, the wrong end of the scale there so we'd like to get that working and as you can see misaligned doing the work I think the plan for this cycle and probably the next couple of cycles is just to kind of let everything run. You can see that we've got a lot of uh, build processes put down uh, that we want to try and do to uh, to solve a few issues here. But the majority of people are coming down to work on this, so we're, we really just need to let the jobs work their way through. This does mean, of course, that I'm not really going to have much to show you for the next couple of days. I think we might do a few talks where we just follow a uh, duplicate around. It's one of the things that we used to do quite a lot back at the beginning of the series when we didn't really have too much to do other than wait uh, but now that we have lots of jobs it does, it's not something that happens that often are you guys noticing the number of idols we have on the go I'm not sure exactly what sorts that out every now and then we'll get a lot and then they'll disappear again look at them look at them what's going on there now I know Forrest has been restricted in his access to the base uh, he was getting a little stressed and whilst that's not happening anymore uh, I did kind of leave his uh, his restrictions up and standing so I can see why he would be uh, he would be idle, uh, but Dr. Captain Subs, he's a hes a very socially orientated man. He's a man who will go around and volunteer for almost any job that comes up, so I am a little bit surprised to find him in the idle list. I mean, not right now, as you can see, he's, uh, it's all going quite well. We do have a, a disappointing number of uh, notifications up there, but uh, most of them are nothing really to worry about. We've got this uh, overheat. That's, that's a gas pump that we were, that we put down ages ago and then realised that the whole situation was getting out of our hands, so that's, that's nothing to Worry about. In fact, these two are the um, the steam room that we have. Uh, I thought this was actually the uh, the salt generator, but no, over here. Uh, th this is what I thought it was, but I turned off notifications for that one a long, long time ago. Um, and by turned off, I disabled the auto repair or something. I can't remember what I did to stop it complaining about it, but uh, stop complaining, it did. Definitely times like this, I'd like to take a moment and uh, fully respect the work that the cleaning dupes out there are doing. We've got Luna, we've got Jelly, uh, I think even we've got Cubic doing, uh, going around and doing these jobs. Doing absolute standout work, really making sure that the base just can carry on functioning in the, uh, the way that we would like it to. Because we don't want liquids just everywhere, we don't want people's pee to be all around the base, and we don't want piles of, uh, of materials just cluttering up the hallways. And these guys 
coming through to really show what it's about. And that was a day down. You can see that we've got a natural gas generator in place. We've got most of the pipe work leading up to it, and we're starting to start make work on the gas coming away. That's the carbon dioxide. We need to put a carbon scrubber underneath here. I notice that's a thing that I do not have in place, so let's do that. Bam. Uh, where are we going to bring the water from? Oh, well, I have noticed that we've got this water line here. You might remember that this was the water that was going to come down and put pressure into the oil wells, but I had to uh, break the line here because we ended up with a lot of water, and in fact, it was up here, just kind of chilling in this pipe here. And I do mean that literally. Uh, over here, you can see that we have a uh, temperature of minus 30 in the carbon dioxide there. That is cold enough to freeze even through an insulated liquid pipe. That's why we've got this uh, this repair errand actually needing to be done here. So I had to break the pipe and let all the, uh, all the liquids kind of come back up here. But now we could probably put them to use, put the liquids down in and uh, bring it over to the carbon skimmer over here. I feel like we may still have some uh, chill problems, but at least it will be flowing through. And of course, the big question is, what do we do with all the polluted water that is leaving? I believe it to be this line here, and we can bring it all the way down and just connect, and that is what we deal with, or as how we deal, sorry, with the uh, carbon dioxide and the polluted water that get released from the natural gas generator over here. What is he doing? So I've been following Jelly around for a little while now, and he keeps coming down here. I think Shradkus is going to do the same. They pick up a bit of rust, is it? and then they just immediately drop it. I'm not sure why that is a situation that is going down here. Most people coming in to, uh, to do the phosphate deliveries for the Weez warts over here. And these guys, I mean, I, I really... I I don't, I don't really care much about them at the moment, if I'm to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just, oh, all of this going on around here is just very, look, there he goes again, dropping it. I assume that he's out of uh, oxygen. Let's have a look. Who was this here? This was Shrouticus. Let's have a look for the breath. Where are we? It's down to 70%, and I believe that to be the level where they start panicking. So, I mean, like, I know when I start panicking. Uh when I'm running out of breath, right? I mean, like, who doesn't panic when they're running out of breath? Just just a little fraction. And he's like, oh, no. Hey, we've got people putting stuff away over here. Hey, miss, how are you doing? But this, uh, should, shouldn't you be over here at the work site? Well, at least Frank's on it. So the general settled work order for today seems to be that Miss Aligned has come down to work on the uh, polluted water catch and carbon dioxide catch, whereas Mad Frank is working on the return line for the polluted water, which, you know, that's a, that's a good plan. That's a good plan. Uh, down here, we've got a whole bunch of dupes trying to keep this place clean it's a little bit of a shame that missile line just keeps on dropping more water on top of their heads but you know that's that's fine we just go go around and put some more uh, orders down trying to get rid of the water keep the oil uh, i don't know whether that's going to work out for us but that is my actual plan but mainly I'm just following the members of the community around that we don't normally follow that often. Today we're following Mimi. Yeah, we're going to see what she's doing. Mostly we're going to, going to do stuff around the base because I noticed we had some areas of pretty shocking decor. Where have we got it? Uh, it is this one, the decor overlay. Is Look at these. Look at these. So I've decided to go around and put some uh, put some portraits down. Hopefully Luna's going to come along. Ew, like all this needs to be fixed up. A good and what, we, what do we have down here? Let's, uh, let's have a look and put, I don't know, a metal block... A large sculpting block. I think that will go here and here of this drop. That that seems like a great idea. And maybe a landscape po uh, painting. Though I do want to leave room for a couple of extra. Let's go with a blank canvas down here. A couple of extra stations at some point. I found a crazy little effect here. So I was like looking at the water going, oh, these are quite a high temperature. And I pressed F3 and then went, hang about, what's this up here? And you can see the gas guys are through the blocks. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. But also, talking of crazy, look at how this heat is starting to seep up through here. Thankfully, this whole line of abyssalite seems to be doing doing the work for us. And it looks like the, the cold is creeping down rather than the heat creeping up. Uh, that's okay. I, I can definitely live with that. Still not sure what's going on with the salt water over here. This should be chilling everything down, but it just... It doesn't seem to be taking the heat away. If if anything, this is climbing in temperature. Look, we're out of water to feed into here now. Mmm, it's not great, I've got to say. It's not great. Carrying on not great decisions. I'm going to put that on a 50 now and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's super high priority in case things go bad. I'm going to start putting down some replacement radiant gas pipes. You can see we've got Wolframite here. Its thermal conductivity is high and it is thermally reactive. So I kind of want to replace everything in here with uh, uh, with all for my and do something like that as a nice little loop round i think that will work out well we've got nines on all of those so hopefully mad frank's going to come in and just make this section a not a lot nicer this way i'm hoping that the uh, the temperature kind of gets sucked out a lot quicker but you know we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to see how it works if anything the temperature is shut up like what oh no <laughs> 
I think next cycle I'm going to try something crazy. You see we've got all of these uh, these pickup orders in here. They're all at level 9, but no one's doing them because obviously there's a lot more important stuff to go around and do. So I think maybe I might do a P and a little exclamation mark and select this entire stuff inside here at some point just to see if we can mainly stop the chlorine stone outgassing the bleach stone. That'd be very nice. I'm looking mainly down at this bit down here. Look at all this bleach stone that is outgassing into the area where we're going to be pumping hydrogen from. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Okay, I said at the beginning of the next uh, cycle I'd do something crazy, so let's go ahead and do something crazy. Come on, guys, empty this place out for me. Ha 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 ha. Mostly, I'm interested in what's going on. Where are we going? The bleach stone here. Anybody got it on Aaron? No, of course not, because everybody's got a whole bunch of other stuff to do. But you can see they've got a whole bunch of bins up here that are all waiting for people to come along and fill stuff in. Uh, whether they will actually do that here or not, or just kind of carry on running back all the way up here kind of seems like more more likely what they're going to be doing but you know we'll, we'll see what actually works out in the end there are people not coming down to do stuff what what's what's the deal here guys why is no one oh hey we got some people coming down to do stuff but mostly people aren't coming down to do what they should be doing i'm not sure what is going on with that and also look ah why would you do that bam more sweeps more sweeps right jelly let's go um no oh okay all right that's I don't, I don't know why these guys aren't doing stuff. It's not like they're not pick upable, right? No, yeah, totally. And then then the uh, filtration medium, yeah. Why? Hmm. Why? It's almost like this isn't the bit you're supposed to turn on to high priority, right? What happens if I do that? Anybody? Anybody? Is this the place that's? Okay, so suddenly a lot of errands have come up. Okay, let's see if that works out better. Uh, I mean, <sighs> kind of, but it's just doing it around here. Hmm. So how am I supposed to say, hey guys, come and pick this lot up above everything else? I, I actually don't know. So whilst that's a fail, I don't feel like it's my fault that it's a fail. Does anybody know what, what, what I'm supposed to do there? Let's let's turn off these uh, these sirens here. It's obviously not going to be the thing that works. How about if we go, okay, I got, wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. We go sweep only and then put that up at super high priority. How about that? Does that work? We'll have to wait and see what's Jelly going to come pick up. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, he's going over that way. He's picking up the, the other things that I've asked to be swooped up. I mean, I get it, but no. Okay, this does appear to have done the job that I needed it to do. Okay, cool, cool. We, we have figured it out. If we need to sweep up a thing, uh, a super high priority, we need to put a new storage bin next to it, mark it as sweep only, and go with the top priority. Okay, brilliant. Also a lot of work. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty sweet, just watching them all go back and forth. Uh, this definitely shows that we super need more atmospheric suits on this side. But of course, the lack of oxygen is what's holding us back here, if I uh, come up and have a look. I mean, these guys are all complaining about power, but the lack of oxygen is also a thing. Talking of lack of oxygen, do we have oxygen coming through here still? It, does it still flow? Not quite like water, but it does flow. That's nice. Wow, so much sweepage, so much sweepage. So if we turn this back to a five, turn this off the sweep only, turn this one onto a sweep only and increase its priorities, that should then make sure these guys carry on working. Because look, we've already filled one up. Wow. Might be wrong, but yeah, Jelly's run out of oxygen in his uh, in his suit. He's just holding his breath there. That's that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Commitment to the job, though. I'm all about it. Same way that Mad Frank is looking super super tired, but you know they've got they've got commitment to their work here. So uh, I'm I'm fine with that. Oh wow, terrible overseer Twitchy once again pushing them away beyond the point of any sort of reasonable work shifts. Okay, let's turn this back off down here, and you as well back off down here. That's very interesting. They didn't get the whole room done in one go, but I, I'm, I'm down with it. They've done a fair bit, but of course, not the bits that I really wanted to get rid of. Has someone not made it back to drop their atmospheric suit off, or has someone taken it to bed with them? I'm not sure. I'm missing someone. Oh, 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 oh. The dude's only just got back in time. Yeah, you, should, you guys should just sleep. You guys should just sleep. What are you doing, miss? Why are you coming up here? What's what 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 no? Why are you coming in here? This is hot. This is too hot. Oh gosh, no, no, no! Get out, get out! Only let people out. There, there's germs in here, and that's supposed to be how it is. Just don't, don't even do that, miss. Get go, go on, out, go. Be gone with. Why won't you get out the door? God, these people don't want to talk to me. But thanks. What? What? Why did you just run past that? Hang about. Let's find Miss and see if she's covered in germs. She's not covered, well, I mean, like, she kind of is, but she's also kind of not covered in germs. What's going on with this? 12% food poisoning. 
Okay, Miss made it out, Decipher's making out. We seem to have a bit of a power power lull again, but that that's no big problem. That's no big problem. As I say, we've got the uh, the infinite generator turning on over over here, though I am worried about when it's next. Oh no! Oh, I was just worried about it, and it looks like it's going to happen very soon. We also need to try and get someone in here to do their analysis of here, but of course it's just too hot. Look at this, 107. It's too much, it's too much. Okay, new plan. We're going to turn this one on. We're going to let nobody through other than Forest. And then over here, we're going to turn this onto a different setting. I don't know, we'll go with none, and hopefully it should just open the door. How about Chlorine? Yeah, all right, Chlorine will open the door for us. And this should now allow Forest to come through, as long as I haven't turned everything off over here. Okay, cool. Cool. Forrest, I need you... What, where is it? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? I need you to come and uh, do the do, do the thing over here. I need you to come and do the analysis. Okay, so Forrest is doing a thing, but the moment he's done that... Okay, brilliant. And hopefully that now means that this is all he's going to do all day, every day. I don't think we need anybody... Well, we do need someone to come up here, but I'm not sure when. Oh, look, we got we got ages yet. We got ages. I'm going to just leave that like that. I was about to set off the uh, the super high priority sweeping orders again, but I noticed that Miss is working on stuff that I find very important, the return lines and all this lot down here. So I'm going to leave her just doing that. We can let other people deal with the uh, the tidying up. It is on a super high priority. So if we come over here, you can see that Decipher, Misaline, and Shroud are all looking to get involved there at some point. So uh, yeah, that's, that's good. At some point, it will all get tidied up, hopefully. But maybe when we're done here, I'll try, I was about to say hopefully before we're done here, but I don't, I don't think that will actually get done before this lot. I noticed the wiring loom was not in place for all the things here, so I've taken the main power coming out of the gas generators here, run it up, gone one up higher for the power transformer. Uh, if we press the F2, you can see that it has a uh, heavy watt join at the top there. So we run it up and across there through the battery regulator that like we have put on the other side. Uh, this transformer comes down into a small wire to power this battery, just to make sure that we have a little bit of a power buffer. And then the line comes down here, it comes over, powers the carbon skinner and the liquid pump, as well as this gas pump and the gas shut off. I've gone down and through the insulated tile here. I'm not sure whether this is actually going to cause me a bit of trouble letting the heat leach through. I don't know. I don't care really. Uh, and then we'll run this one up into there, making the shortest amount of time breaching into the hot area. I hope. We'll find out. Oh nice. Forrest is very nicely getting away with this steam vent analysis here. It'll be very good to know when it's going to be coming back online. I'm hoping that it will actually uh, counterpoint this. So when this one goes dormant, in zero seconds. Oh, what timing, guys. What timing. When this goes dormant next, uh, hopefully this will fire up. Uh, hopefully not whilst Forrest is in there, because even though he's got the atmospheric suit on, I'm not sure, like, what's going to hurt him, you know? All right, end of one cycle. We got halfway through. I like that. I like that. How about down over this way? We've got the little power set up over here. Uh, not, not actually done anything on the power loom that I was talking about, the wire loom before, but we did get some ladders put into place ready to start making the power line. Uh, also, two of the gas generators are done that's that's nice actually that's very nice look like most of the piping is also in place for the water loop nice oh hello why is everyone complaining about the lack of oxygen what's going on why aren't things keeping up more importantly what's going on over here why aren't you producing a lot of oxygen let's have a look um you're just not producing a lot of oxygen oh it's full of like chlorine and polluted oxygen if uh just had the change of cycle pause there. I really want to have a look, though. Where's the gas at? Overlay. It's an F4. Yeah, look at this mixture of gases we got in here now. This is looking pretty bad, actually, on the grand scheme of things. We're normally doing much better than this, but it's just... I don't know. This doesn't seem to be look, getting looked after as much. Who's on that? No pending delivery. What? No, wait, 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 wait. Plenty of rust. Okay, there seems to be a bit of a problem, though, us getting it over there. I'm assuming that it's actually a situation where it's all over here. Yeah, and people aren't carrying it through the base. Yeah, it looks to be that way, and that's going to get worse as Forrest needs to do stuff. Okay, all right, okay. We'll, we'll let Jelly through because I believe he's the man who does these things. Okay, this one that holds the uh, ma manufactured materials and the uh, refined materials, I'm going to come through to the consumable ore and say, hey, can you store rust in here as well? Thanks. There we go, beautiful. Then he's going to move all the rust in there, and then the people that normally move through can just normally move through. Beautiful, beautiful. No, not, not the aluminium. Uh, just jelly. No, that's rust. Ah. Okay, how about Luna as well? 
Okay, they're both going to the bottom of the ladder. Uh, normally, this does not bode well. I am not in highest of spirits about how this is going to go, but we will find out. We've got 600 grams of rust. We haven't instantly dropped it, so that's good. I'm all about that. And we got another... Wow, Jelly, you 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 lift, brah. You lift. That is 1.6 tons of rust you have just picked up there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so Luna should come along and perform the handoff in this storage bin, I am assuming. Or maybe she'll go running all the way through. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But once that handoff has happened, this should now start putting the pressure on people to start dealing with this. You know, Decipher's like, yeah, actually, that is a very important thing to do. And Decipher knows what the important things is. First, he needs to stroke the hatch, and then he's going up to do with the oxygen go forest go tell us about this little uh, thing here this this steam vent that's what it's called wow uh okay so we're getting steam a lot of steam we know this but when is this activation period wait we no why maybe, maybe i clicked too quickly maybe i did click too quickly analysis complete requires analysis why would you do this to me Okay, here we go. Activity period, 77 cycles every 111 cycles. The next activity in 1.2 cycles. Beautiful, love it. That's what I'm all talking about. Somewhere down here, though, I want to set this to steam. I want to lock this back up uh, because, man, it's, it's hot and it flows. I turned this not oxygen sensor on a little while ago, or not, not oxygen pump, a little while ago. We seem to be collecting some nice gases up here, but they don't seem to be stacking anywhere near as well as the one over here stacks. Uh, I don't know what the what the situation is, how you make it work better, but it, it, you know they make me feel better, and I like to have things going round and round stacking up, so uh, I, I will go with that. I've got a feeling the best situation, of course, is to earth uh, just a single stream like this coming through with a single gas, but uh, who knows, who knows? I'm, I'm no expert at these things. I've only been... I've only been playing this game for a couple of years now, like what? <laughs> the end of cycle 333! Three, three, three. Oh, that's quite nice, I like that by the way. Uh, looking at this, this is looking pretty good. The uh, the natural gas geyser has begun its dormancy, but we've still got quite a backlog of the amount of natural gas that we've got here. Looking at the flow of the of the actual gases, it's looking, it's looking pretty sweet. I like the way that these three have been working almost constantly with the uh, with just the three running. Uh, I think having the fourth there was getting to be just a little bit much for them. Uh, but of course, up here we are waiting for this steam geyser to go. Uh, let's have a look. 0.7 cycles, and then this will suddenly all jump into existence as well, jump into power. And uh, having a look, actually, this oxygen line just kind of stops here. We need to get this over to this bunch of atmospheric suits because that of course is what we wanted them for i'm wondering if i could make a little jump over there and then pass all of the oxygen in through here yeah that that looks good let's do that let's uh, get a little vent ventilation out uh turn this around to face the right direction that one yeah that one indeed i i kind of wondering what would happen if we jump if we jump between these two yeah i'm not, I'm not entirely sure i'm not sure if this is where i want to find out i'm wondering actually whether we can feed different gases in at the bottom and then they just kind of go across when they yeah i don't, I don't know i don't know that's uh, that's something to experiment with at some point but not right now no 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 right now we need to move this hydrogen uh, this sorry, Sorry, oxygen line out of here. Wow, look at this though. It's going to be spewing out some nasty gases beforehand. Look, we need to clear all this out, don't we? Oh, I didn't think about that at all. I mean, blatantly, I'm just going to be dumping all the gases next to a not oxygen, right? That That's how that's going to work. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this over here. Oh, if I pull them down, can they build there? Is that too far? Yeah, that's kind of like building in the wall of the uh, of the stairwell, right? That, that should work out. I'm going to turn this gas bridge on and around this way. That is the right direction. Beautiful. And then we'll just bring this gas pipe all the way down. Not, not all the way down, not just quite that. Wow. All right, we've got to wait for this one to be taken out before we can move them on any further. And then I'm going to wonder what I'm going to do. Am I going to take out these gas pipes here? As it was, I was looking at this thinking maybe I want to uh, rearrange the way these come down here. Because at the moment, they're kind of like counting in binary, right? It goes to this one once, and then it'll go to that one, and it'll go back to this one, and then it'll skip over. Yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's like that, right? But I'm wondering whether I actually I just want to go in a straight line across them all, and it will, it will fill up this one first, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. And that, that might work out a little bit better, because at the moment I don't, I don't know it doesn't quite feel like it's filling up right and then we still get gases that are coming over here despite the fact that all of them are needed i suppose this is actually a power situation right yeah this is a power situation and then we're just losing all the gas to down here i say losing the base really does need it but we're losing all the gases to down here 
So I have a definite concern for when this fires back up. I'm wondering whether there's going to be enough heat in the system to warm up the steam at the top here enough. If we press F4, we've got to... Ah, I meant to take that out whilst we were um, quiet here. I'm going to knock a hole through that and then turn that gas pump on and let it all pump everything out. But we didn't do that, so we're going to have to just make do of it. When this raises in pressure, though, it will uh, compact it down into one tile, so I'm not that bothered about it. Well, but what I am bothered about is whether this is going to have enough heat to bring all of this steam up to temperature. Mm, because, of course, these won't fire unless the steam ter temperature is above 125. That's... Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Also, this is kind of awkward. I should have totally have taken those out as well. Quick, Boris, can you get here? Quick, 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 quick. Let's let's see what happens if I do that and do this. Can we do that? Is is that a thing? Boris, go, go, go. He not be going. No, he's he's just like, whatever, I ain't interested. Oh, it's because of this one's locked. <laughs> Okay, Forrest, go, go, go. I, I, I solved the problem. Uh, that's great. All right. Now, hopefully, he's just going to come along and pick all the, uh, break all this down. Or do I need to kind of tr decide whether we're going to pick all this up? Of course, we would need to put another storage container there and do some wonderful things with it. But uh, as we're getting very close into the activity period, I'm just, I'm just going to hope that he'll break all this stuff down for... for Forrest, Forrest, I, I, get what, I get why it happened, but couldn't you have given me some warning beforehand? Okay, much, much better. I don't like the way I'm seeing these idle numbers climb. Oh, no. What about are, are people down here doing the work? That's the real question. All right, yeah, Mad Frank is down here doing the work. Okay, so as long as all this actually gets built up at some point, we, we will have a possible working steam geyser. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that this also appears to be dormant. <clears throat> Okay, let's take off the uh, the restrictions on this, shall we? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Of course, no one's still going through because there's no power. I mean, is this now just like, yeah, I don't have any power available? Forrest is like, I can, I can, I can make it run. I can do this. I can do this. Is it not storing? No, these are chewing out the power. Oh, it's the battery is like pulling all the charge down. That's kind of fine. We need to figure out a better way of turning this off, though. Maybe we need, like, a gas sensor here. And does this this receive automation? It does receive automation. So when there's, like, no natural gas in here, we should turn this off, right? I, I think that's a plan. Uh, gas element sensor, pop that there, uh, and then move an automation wire like so. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get people building that. Yeah, it needs to be mad, frank, and misaligned. Um, hmm. All right, it's kind of now or never for this because these guys are all having a bad time standing around slowly suffocating. So we've got to get this oxygen up and running and hopefully that means that the temperature is going to rise. I mean, we're already at quite a high temperature there. So this should work out for us. If I press F4, is it because we've got a spread of stuff up there? Oh, that's really bad. I was kind of hoping these were... Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. Actually, it's worked out wonderfully well for us. You can see that the pressure has risen enough be able to push all these gases out to the side okay that's fine that's fine now the real question is will this provide more power than it consumes in like moving pumps and stuff like that i'm really hoping the electrolyzer just eats up everything you know oh seven eight hundred watts that's nine eight eight fifty what's that that's ideal running temperature there i wonder if we're just gonna blitz past it and then start coming down in uh, in wattage as well uh, I'm also given to understand that these wheeze watts would be handy over here as well. Uh, might end up actually... Oh, hey, what what are you, what are you doing? Is that a cold? No seed box? What, what's the problem here? Mm, these are climbing temperature at an alarming rate. And we're supposed to uh, keep them down below 100. Pumping this extra water in here is, uh, is supposed to be helping. It's supposed to be bringing the temperature back down a little bit. And actually, now, now that I look, it is kind of helping. But man, it's 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 work. It's work. Oh, also, this is supposed to be back onto steam now that it's in full operation again. Beautiful. Is this going to close? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we just got to worry about the uh, about the temperatures. Yeah, no, no, we are bringing it back down. We're bringing it back down. All right, cool. Although I think it's going to help too much now that I stop and think about it, because these are outputting 800 apiece. That's uh, 16, 20, 20, 20 lots, 24, 21, one of those anyway. And these are 16 together. So that's, uh, hmm. yeah, we might still actually be running short of power. Got hydrogen generator, steam turbine, steam turbine. This other one keeps turning on and off. Is that temperature? That is temperature related. Ooh, that's a bit of a shame. Just quickly throwing a vent down because we're going to need to be able to uh, dump out all those random gases we got in the beginning of the pipe. And when it starts spewing out 
proper pure oxygen. We'll finish the uh, the build off over that way. Um, and I'm hopefully, I'm hoping, sorry, that this will then sort itself out into a nice stable system, an equilibrium, if you will, and we can figure out uh, how we can make use of it. The power... The power's okay. It, it seems to be a little bit too too hot still, but uh, the power's okay. Okay, I am going to uproot two of these. I'm just going to do it, and we're going to be brutal about it, and we're going to take those up over this way. I'm actually tempted to then move the rest of them out as well. In fact, I'm just going to start building places. Now, do I want to put... No, I do not want to put farm tiles down now. That would be a very silly situation to find yourself in, wouldn't it? Uh, and then I also, I don't know, manual airlock here. Oh, it won't work because we need to get the power out. We can totally, though, uh, come in with the power and one of these heavy what join plates up there. <clears throat> <clears throat> One of those heavy join what plates up there. Let's connect a bit of wire up like this and up like this. And then when we can, we will destroy this piece. But of course, we want to have the bypass up and running before we even think about taking that out. Uh, we'll put a tile there. Do we want to go across the top? I'm wondering whether we want to have it insulated or not. Now that I've placed all those, of course, we're going to take them out and have them as insulated. Okay, the gas has actually already, without my knowledge, gone through and spewed out. That's fine. I do also want to have a look and see what we've got. So we do have the opportunity to get a couple of bad gases in there, or this one bad gas in particular, in there. But I think it's going to work out. Is there any reason for people to come in here other than going up and across the top? There's not. So what I'm going to do is uh, close this and lock the door. Okay, so we're definitely getting issues where the power is not getting where we want it to be. So the first thing I'm going to do, and it's going to be brutal, is cut all those out there. Uh, we are then going to put down uh, the standard, if I can find the pieces that I'm after. We're going to put a smart battery down there. We're going to have a heavy watt wire coming through across the top and down like this. I think we'll then come across over this way to put down a shunt before we then go down and away. As soon as I, I was even looking at it down and away like this that's cool and then we just want a couple of tiles to uh, actually make this possible all right beautiful beautiful and of course this is like all super oh i'm putting down everything as high priority we should probably change that okay first things that happens we cut the power and all this starts uh, bolting into life of course this now means the base has no power but that's okay we'll figure that one out we'll do it as we are moving on we've got to take that one out as well and hopefully now we should just have enough materials around to start working on the rest of the items we need here. Have a look at the smart battery. What do we even need? No pending deliveries. Are you kidding me? What are we out of? Ah, it's just lead. There's got to be more around somewhere. Okay, we have a problem where I have filled this one up with rust. And it means that there's no way for the uh, refined materials to make its way up here. And that is well, definitely what we need. So uh, I'm going to put down another storage bin over here. And that's going to take the rust. Okay, so we got some people down here, Dr. Captain Subs in particular, going around doing a mop. But I've got a feeling if I come up to here, the one with the metals, if I just do that, suddenly everybody doing some stuff? Is, is this a thing? People are all panicking about it, but hopefully Dr. Captain Subs, yes, he's got the lead. All right, that's beautiful. That's what we need to work out here for us. And it looks like other people are going to be doing so as well. All right, that's, that's cool. That's wonderful. Uh, we kind of don't want it to be a constant thing, but definitely just starting off is not a problem. I'm looking for the consumable ore. I don't know. Uh, it, it just seems just it's a weird phrase to sit in my head when looking for rust. But of course, it is a consumable ore. Okay, end of the day, we got a few of the important materials through, so I'll let that go on a nine, uh, and hopefully people will do it as and when they need it. But of course, the fact that we haven't managed to finish off the the, uh, the power over there is going to be very awkward. Okay, let's let's uh, let's make that a uh, let's turn off that checkpoint so that we can come through and make all these a workable thing. Oh man, it's go it's going to be tough though. It's going to be really tough. Here to try and restore power to the base, I have turned off the ch atmospheric check suit and sent everybody in with super high priorities. Now, most people are going to be having troubles here because it is too hot for them. But we need to get this stuff done, and we need to get it done right now. All right, a lot of people have managed to get the get those basic things done. All right, that's cool. Why have we got water in there? Are we, like, losing water to... Oh, people need to de deal with this as well, don't they? Okay, so the atmospheric check to is, of course, a proper thing that we need. So hopefully now we can turn it back on as well. We'll enable that building and hopefully also... Oh, that one's also enabled. Okay, that's good. I, I, was, I had a little bit of a worry that maybe that had also turned itself off, or at least I turned it off on automatic. Okay, people coming down here. I hope they're coming to continue building the stuff. Let's have a look. Yes, indeed. 
Okay, we've got the uh, the natural gas sensor in there as soon as I find it. Natural gas, beautiful. This should mean that it's uh, disabled until we get natural gas in there. Hey, what's going on over here? Hey, Dr. Captain Subs, how are you doing? Could you please... I mean, you look like you're going to do it anyway. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say, get get out of there until you can get yourself a nice suit back on. But look look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we have a bit of a pro... Seriously, what's going on, Frank? What, what are you doing over here? Man, the, the cascading effects from just turning one piece of equipment off for just one small amount of time. It gets a little bit overwhelming sometimes. Okay, we've got a pipe block situation here. That is because if we come down this way, uh, the, the pipe is blocked. There's no other way to word that, but I can make this work pretty well for us if we can get this gas pipe coming out and over. I suppose we will want to jump... Oh... Over this way and come down. Yeah, actually, this will work out pretty well. Come into this and now I'm going to go... Hey, you see all this? Get rid of it all. I don't want any of it. I don't want any of it at all. I'm going to put a new set of pumps across over this way. And we're also going to then have these coming all the way across here. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this vent. I'll figure it out. Okay, this is working out quite well. Forrest is breaking down the gas pipes and Dr. Captain Subs here. Well, he was using those materials to make this gas pipe. I'm not sure what he's going to do now. Oh, okay. Well, I want to show how well they were working together. But no, they're like, no, I'm going to go do my own thing. Of course, just, just when I'm trying to show the spirit of cooperation. They cooperate together to do me over. All right, people who didn't know how important their job was right there, that was, of course, actually stopping all the steam turbines turning over by not having a way of making this flow. But now that it does flow, the oxygen should come down and just fill in with all of this. Of course, we want to connect this up to the gas pipe so that when uh, so that when it does get full, we'd not... We're not backing up and having a horrific situation where it doesn't want to take any more oxygen. Uh, this should just continue flow now. This should continue flowing until it comes down here. We've got uh, until, uh, sorry, it um, run, runs out. Put some hydrogen over this way. There's, there's going to be a lot of flow. The, what I'm also particularly interested in is getting this automation system set up here. Uh, we want to have this one at 95 and low of 5. Uh, I, I'm just tweaking those numbers in all directions to see what works there for us. Oh, look, we can now also deconstruct this one at quite a high priority. If we do it uh, well, maybe we'll get Decipher on the case. And Decipher, please, just come over and do the job whilst you're here. That's the only reason I did that. Uh, and then we'll just throw a mechanical airlock in place uh, down at a high priority. And we'll just sit, wait and see what happens. Oh, also, we want to now uh, copy these settings, go across there and there. That would work out quite well for us if we can get some more Wheeze Warts in there. How, how has this run out of power? How is this even a thing? Um, I mean, pumping around and down, so that's pretty good. It's not making its way past here. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that, actually. I am totally fine with that. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised about it. Well, where would it be going? Where would it be? It would be going over here. Oh, man. Does this mean that this water is going to get confused and start going in either direction? It might do. I might have to put a valve on it. Uh, and by that, I mean right here. Oh no, it's backing up. It's backing up. Okay, so we got the knock gate in place now. This should mean that hopefully that'll come slamming down. I suppose the 5%. Oh, I don't know. Is that is that really how it's supposed to work? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's when we hit the high threshold that it slams shut and then allows allows the flow to happen. Okay, but you can see that we're immediately into a situation where we're building more power up back here. That's good. This means this regulator is uh, pretty much holding it all into place for us and making sure that this works uh, above above the rest of the base. Uh, but it's kind of needed to chew, chew through the water. Is it chewing through the water fast enough? That's the question. Doesn't look like it is. How do we make more of these then? Well, we, we make more of these then, right? Okay, I'm legitimately scared of this operation, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. I want to break through the walls over here. We're going to start... Yeah, no, we're just going to take all of them out. Uh, and hopefully Mad Frank should be coming along. Frank, uh, you're looking a little bit... A little bit worse for wear there, mate. Is there any way we could get you into the uh, into the hospital? Maybe after this set of jobs. Okay, so I was going to leave a gap and then put down uh, two of these. I might even leave another gap, but no, no, no. We'll go we'll go like that, and then we want to have the uh, deoxidizer over there. Right, beautiful, beautiful. We could even possibly actually put an extra space in, but I think this will work out. Uh, looking at it, I think actually what I want to do is take that end off, take these off over here and just crush this down a little bit because we don't want to have too much wasted space going on, right? Will this work? I don't know. 
Okay, the water refuses to flow. Let's try something else. Let's go through here and across over this way. This is going to put a whole load of stuff in our inventory or, you know, it available for us to use. So hopefully we can go ahead and do that pretty quickly. I, yeah, definitely want it to be a super high priority if possible because we need to get this water flowing. Have you seen this not working? Have you seen this? Okay, so we've connected the... Why not? What What's going on? Why don't you want to do it? What's, what, what's bad here? What's bad? How about if we take this out? Question mark. Gonna work? Gonna work? Gonna not work? I don't know. Why won't you flow water over there? Aha, there we go. Alright, we're away. I still don't think it's gonna be enough to save us, though. Look at how, how the water's not flowing. Uh, well, no, that was the extra bits of pipe there, wasn't it? Yeah, it's immediately filled back in. But hopefully we can get all this pipe work done, and then... I'm guessing the way that it's flowed past here to these different white ones will give us an opportunity to uh, to also have a valve here and, and allow it to flow back out because I've got a feeling that this would kind of count uh, counting as pressure pushing back to this. So hopefully this will this will fix it. No, 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 don't. Don't go yet. You've got far more important work than that to do. Come on, we've, we've got stuff that we need to do. Forrest, why aren't you involved here? What's going on? You, you want to go get... You're hungry, mate. Are you, are you hungry? No, ah, there we go. He's getting involved. He's getting involved. That's much better. Much, much better. Okay, so is this now good? I think we might be good. Let's have a look. The water flows. Yes, the water flows. Of course, now that I've gone ahead and done that, what we actually want, look, you see how this liquid shut-off has turned on here? We want to have another one over this side saying, no, 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 turn off. Okay, but how about, how about we do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Also, it kind of hurts how close this is to being done, yet still not being done. Okay, so we want to say, hey, deconstruct this one, please. Um, maybe what we should have done is come in the other way, but that, that's fine. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, no, it's, mm, uh, it's not fine though, is it? It's really not fine. Let's have a look. Let's go. The, yeah, yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go plumbing. I want the liquid shut off there. If we want to turn it around this way here, uh, yeah, this one like this. We'll stop that being deconstructed for the moment because we need to create a bit more wire that comes, a uh, bit more pipe, sorry, that comes in across here, down here, and then into that one, uh, and then we can start destroying stuff. Uh, like this stuff over here, and this, and all of this down to here. Uh, plumbing once more. Okay, with the application of a little bit of uh, automation here, we should be able to have these two working opposite each other, so that when this one turns on, uh, the water is allowed to just flow that way, uh, but the water that is stored in the pipes will carry on being used for the electrolyzer up until the point it turns back on when this flows open again. That's kind of the point, is to keep the, the flow standard whilst this is turning on and off. So we use all these pipes back here as a reservoir. Okay, took a little bit of checkpoint for nailing, but we've managed to get this whole setup up and working this time. Uh, if I press the F6 button, you can see that it's coming through. Whilst this water is spilling out into here, cooling down the steam chamber, you can see we've got water chilling out up in this area, keeping this whole reservoir filled, waiting uh, for it all to be. Did I just see an overheat damage? You, you, you what? Say what? Hey, what? Well, how is this a thing? Because I made out of lead. Because I've made it out of lead. Ah, all right, deconstruct it. Let's get this going. Come on, go, go, go. Okay, get that lead out of there. Let's get some aluminium in its place. Obviously, uh, the ideal one would be like some steel or some iron or something like that. In fact, we should have iron. Why wasn't iron available to me? We have been using it, so I assume that's why. But let's have a look. Yeah, what? We've got one iron. That would be why. That would be why. Oh, Cubic, I really thought it was you coming over here. Uh, okay, so it's Jelly. What are you doing, man? Where are you at? You're going to go look for the stuff, or are you just going to run around in a little suit? I don't know. Kind of wish someone like Mimi or Miss Aligned or Mad Frank was doing this job because they've all got build skills. My man Jelly here, I mean, he's good at running around and oh, can he carry a lot of stuff at once, but he's uh, not particularly good at building these items here. So we've got, we're going to have a little bit of backflow of water again, though, as I say, it's flowing off down in this direction. So it's going to work out well for us for the moment, at least. Okay, so now the liquids should flow in opposition to each other. When this liquid shut-off valve flows the water back down to try and cool down the area, this one shuts off and keeps this reservoir going, and then when this one turns off, uh, and when this one turns off, sorry, and lets the water flow up there, it will open this up to enable the water to flow out of here, uh, down and into the base. I'm not sure if we're going to end up with very hot water going down and into the base. Let's have a 70 degrees. I mean, that's going to go through there. That's going to get down to 60 degrees. Still going to be quite hot, but we are dumping it into uh, 20 degree water, so we'll see. 
<laughs> yeah, but so we got ice going in one side and hot water coming in the other. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I'll tell you what could go wrong. We could have an overflow situation where this liquid vent is far too high up. Um, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. As it turns out, we're not letting much water at... Why, why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? We can see why this is a thing. Uh, if this wild, if this line wasn't here, you know what? Let's uh, let's do a little bit of a rearrangement. I know I just told Miss Line she wasn't allowed in here, but right now I think we actually need to allow people in to do this little bit of work here for us. The electrolyzer's overheating, but you're you're made out of iron. How can you be overheating? What? All right, all these are coming up. Let let's do it. We're gonna go five uproot copy settings all the way across. Right? No, nope, no, that that doesn't actually work like that. That's a shame. You can just G, though. Just give him a dig order. It'll work. It'll work. Oh, yeah. We we are having just generalized overheating issues. That's very interesting. So my plan, when these are filled up, I'm going to uh, rip down this wall over here. What's in here? There's a whole bunch of carbon dioxide. That's no good. We want to get rid of that somehow. Uh, and then go across here and... Yeah, try try and work out a way of extending this without getting too much carbon dioxide in here. How about if I just fill this in with blocks and then go around the outside with an insulated tile? Yeah, I, I, I think I know what I'm going to do. In fact, I've not set this up well. If we do that, we can start building in L shapes and then we can take out the blocks as we're coming in across this way. That's my plan anyway. Uh, hopefully it will work out well. So the filling in of the tiles seems to be a roaring success. Definitely going to make more use of this in the future. In fact, I think I've actually uh, discovered this in the past. Uh, I don't want these to be quite that high priority, but these are definitely... D well, no, even these don't need to be. We just need to get the whole place done, right? Of course, whilst all that has been going on, missile has been coming over here and just plugging away on the cooling system for the gas generator down here. She needs to just make this pipe go all the way down here. And that'll be some of the last we need. We just need the uh, aluminium for this bit of uh, automation wire here. And actually this entire side of the setup is ready to roll i think you know we'll like take the cap off of this and find out exactly how it's not right ready to roll right <laughs> oh man this episode has really gone away from me sorry about the ridiculous length that we're having to deal with here but we are very close to actually having this gas generator up and working all we need to do is put in all these gas lines this um i didn't put a filter in there and as you can see all around here there's lots of disgusting different gases about. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick them all up with this gas pump. We're going to feed them into this gas filter. We're going to separate out the natural gas and we're going to send the rest up into the gas line, to the waste line that comes out of this and, uh, you know, goes up for filtering. So using the powers of abuse, <coughs> using the powers of alert abuse, I've just gone ahead and put down all these pipes that were leading up this, the gas line and the hydrogen line and stuff like that. Let's have a look and see what flows. Here comes the hydrogen. It should stop here. I'm a little bit worried that it might end up uh, stopping in this area and warming up, but that, that should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, I've gone ahead and started taking out some of the insulative uh, tiles around the natural gas geyser over here. I've asked for analysis, but as you can see, forest currently cannot reach. So I'm going to try and take down these insulative tiles on this side here and see if we can't get some moving and shaking happening. All right, let's see if taking these two out will leave the gas geyser not spewing out. I mean, it's still dormant at the moment, so we could just literally take this out and then be like, hey, forest, get, get down here, please. I think that might actually be the case. Hopefully, Miss Alliance now going to come in for the dig because that's that's the job she likes to do. That's that's her primary function right here. So that that'll be what she does. It's a little bit of a shame that she's not taking out these uh, these to be destructed tiles, but I suppose that's it is on her list. So yeah, maybe maybe that'll be the next thing that she does. I also need to kind of put these ladders going across the top. But now, more importantly, I need to have a look at this and see what the uh, what forest reasons for not coming down here is. Well, I mean, I can't really argue with those reasons. <laughs> the other reason was that this door was turned off for him, so I've just turned him back on. Of course, I kept Forrest locked in there because he got too stressed. Ah, ah, ah. We have a little bit of a problem here. All right, sedimentary rock, where are you? Let's grab you. Let's get some ignis granite. Sedimentary rock. Okay, we'll put that one there, and then we'll put these two up here, and that should be fine for Mimi to get herself across, hopefully. Little bit of a situation we had developed there, but that's fine, that's fine. We'll work our way through it. Obsidian and igneous rock. Okay, this is what we've been dropping. Where did you get the water from to be pumping this out? I mean, like, great, great, but where? And also, why have we got some salt water up there? What? What's this? What's this, what's this trail of wonderful here? What, what's going on here? I love it, I love it. Let's follow this cam. I'm not sure what's going on. Look, he's got sparkles. I assume it's some sort of sparkling streak. This duplicate is slowly sparkle streaking, but bling, athletics plus eight, time remaining. 
What, what, what caused this? Well, I have no idea what caused this, but man, he is loving it. Is it because his morale is... Yeah, no, his morale 21 out of 3. I can imagine what... Just imagine why that has caused him to be amazing. Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, Forrest is still saying that this natural gas geyser is unreachable, so we're obviously going to have to destroy these little bits of uh, dirt here. That's a bit of a shame, because I really would like to have uh, got that analysis started straight away. Oh, Mimi is uh, beginning to pump the area out for us. That's pretty good. We do want to clear all that stuff out, and then the natural gas will be coming in here as soon as, you know, we get some natural gas. Okay, it took far too long and the turning off of the atmosphere suits, but here comes Forrest to come and do the research here. That should be nice and good. For um, Forrest, no, what are you doing? I want I want you doing that. Thanks. Yeah, nice. Cheers. <laughs> all right, one cycle down. We're about halfway through the analysis, so we should be able to get this by the end of the second one. All right, so I think that is now this entire setup done for at least to uh, begin to start processing this. Yep, good good words. Work, worked out well there. We've got a little bit of like an eight-cycle delay before this thing will start firing up. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we made sure that this whole area could pass through all of the natural gas, filter out all the dirty stuff, clean down, uh, cool down, sorry, the stuff that comes out of the natural gas, guys. And we've got the, uh, the generators over here, and we're going to be able to start the work working on the oil biome next time, but we'll see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye!